Right, hello guys, this is Game Invader, and I've been pretty stuck on what to upload recently, so I'm not doing a video on Rayman, as you can see by the title, but I thought why not just look up some weird news stories, at least until my computer's set up and I can do like, uh, overlays on my voice in gameplay. So I'm just going to be reading them off my iPad while I play my game pretty much and these are pretty interesting so there right now I'm just gonna have a look at title and talk over them because I've done some research on these so I'm gonna jump into this level and the first story I have for you is about basically the police broke well they didn't break into um, they came by this mannequin which was like lying on uh, the table pretty much it was they thought it was an unconscious woman pretty much and basically they'd knock the doors off the hin uh, hinges of this place right <laughs> in the last emporium it's basically an art place and they cause it had hair on it and it looks pretty realistic um, basically they'd went over to it and they were like so confused can you imagine just being a police officer and like seeing a freaking supposedly unconscious on women uh, like women um, on the freaking desk and then like trying to <laughs> wake her up just to find out some mannequin like obviously it's an art museum but like I'd be pretty confused personally now what the text of this says is that the police broke down the doors of a London art gallery save a woman slumped unconscious over a table only to discover she was made of packing tape and foam filler the lifeless woman they had been trying to save was in fact an art installation entitled Christina eh, her name is Christina which is on display at the London Art Gallery. Sorry, I was about yeah, okay, there was doing something. But yeah, that's random, isn't it? Like, I couldn't imagine being that police officer to fair. <laughs> and it says that the worker, which like was using the mannequin, just happened to like um, see these um pretty much broken off hinges. And like she opens up the room and just sees two police officers standing next to this mannequin. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty weird. You can look up the story as well. She was wearing um, trainers, a yellow hoodie, had a slump face and a bowl of soup and had long blonde hair concealing her face. See, to be honest, if they knew they had, like, police in the building, they should have, they should have known that would happen. <laughs> like, just put this as a mannequin or something. It's that simple, you know? Now, I'm looking for another one right here. And I've found uh, what hair transplants cost in Turkey. Now, personally, I wouldn't go for a hair transplant oh fuck it's a website <laughs> right, let's have a look hair transplant turkey all inclusive right gonna tap on it and it's telling me to visit the website they also have special packages now they do male and female by the looks of it get in touch with us for your free consultation with our experts Please fill the form below and we will contact you very soon. Now, I might do this for a joke if I don't need to put a credit card in. And then I'll give an update on what happens. I think that'd be pretty funny. Sorry I'm taking pauses, it's just so I can like, read these things out. But yeah, I'm just getting on it right now. Let's see, they do eyebrow transplants, 
dye hair, transplants, foo hair, beard hair. I don't know what the second and third one are. Right, we are male. Next. How old are you? You have to be 20, okay. I'll just put uh, 60. The oldest is 65, so I'll put like 53. For how many years have you been experiencing hair loss? We'll put uh, two. Why not? Um, seeing as I'm Scottish, I'll just put ginger hair. Now watch your skill, by the way. Yes. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm going next. And it's kind of different um, ball patches. So I'm going to go for the biggest one. <laughs> Oh my. Have you ever had a hair transplantation? Eh. Uh, transplantation? No. How do you feel about your condition? Very bad, yes. I'm very depressed. When do you plan on getting a hair transplant? As soon as possible. I am a desperate boy. Full name. Right, I'm obviously not going to say this out loud, so, yeah. Man, I'm not even sure if this can get uploaded. Let's see, though. Man, when my mates see this, they're just going to be like, what was that video? You didn't even play the game. But, like, I wonder if it will... Contact me like as soon as. So I have my email here. Oh fuck. Thank you for contacting us. We will uh, give you an inquiry in 24 hours for urgent inquiries. Please call us on one of the telephone numbers. Now I haven't used my number but like. We'll see what comes up. Let's see about us. Positive feedback over 10,000 and more from 20 different countries what the truth about cremations in london let's have a look at this man i've been really afk on this i know and for the boomers watching this that means away from keyboard afk Right, so the truth about cremations. 2022. Wait, yeah? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Why is a question in the year? Um, okay. Basically, 2022 market study reveals surprising truth about UK cremations and funerals. Alright. My guess is that they cost a lot more than they used to. By like 20% maybe. But I guess we'll see. Right, so, it's saying, We plan our careers, we plan our holidays, we try to prepare for many things throughout our life, but there's one, one important matter that most of us all fail to get ready for, something that's certain to come and cannot be avoided. Death. A recent report shows the average cost of dying is now an alarming £8,864 with funeral costs much greater than many had anticipated once they had included flowers, the funeral director's vehicles, and coffin. Damn, that's not good. Like, see the economy, economy we live in. Especially if you're in America, like, that's gonna cost you 16,000, depending on the value of like dollars to pound ratio. Which isn't good, to be fair. Well, aye, it's really not good, is it? A recent report shows that, yeah, 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 the high cost can create problems for loved ones at a time when they are grieving families left to make difficult choices about large funeral expenses and already emotional time. And if you're thinking about life insurance, then yes, but nobody at 18 is going to take that, so 
say a young person dies, like, you you can't say then, oh, why didn't you have life insurance, you know? That's just silly. But I mean, I guess we'll see. What's this saying? <laughs> right, the funeral industry wants you to pay for the funeral at this time. And this is where they make the majority of the money when people are making large financial choices at a highly stressful time. The cost of even a basic funeral in 2021 was £4,056. Which, keep in mind, is half of like eight grand. You know? That shit is now. And that's in one year. Like, personally, I think that families which struggle should have like, I don't know, a grant given to them, you know? To like, help them with that, because that's not right. Yeah, I'm like 16, but I know my stuff, you know, <laughs> I'm not just going to say, oh wow, that's uh, re really bad in that, like, that doesn't uh, sound good, you know. But anyway, this is saying you can do something to avoid these high costs for your loved ones. Yes, absolutely, by preparing a funeral ahead of time using a present plan. It's a lot easier than you think and only takes a couple of minutes to do. You have full control on what's important to you. Yes, you can protect your family and make it easier for them for as little as £19.63 a month as Golden Leaves now have a new immediate cover monthly payment option. Why is it just came up this random company? Giving you immediate cover from day one this means no outstanding balance to pay if you pass away before you finish paying for the funeral plan. Now, I'm not making a joke of this, but like, I swear that's more than a Disney Plus subscription and Netflix combined. Like, £19.63 a month. I think over time, you're gonna spend more than what the funeral actually costs on that, are you not? All right, um, that's for a funeral plan, but that's still pretty dear, I think, like, on a monthly thing, because a lot of people get these at, like, 40 and that. It's saying you can do it from 18, which is a wee bit odd. I don't know why I clicked on that, but I'm just interested in seeing what's happening right now. Oh damn. Anyway, I think that's a little bit deceiving, like that freaking... I mean, this is like skynews.com I'm on right now. They were on about cremation services, and they've came up something not even to do with that. Well, that's just making me annoyed. <laughs> Why? Why do that, man? Hmm? Ah, uh, damn. Right, I'm going on Mirror Online right now. See what's happening. Women's devious Christmas lights prank on dad leaves people in stitches. Oh, bruh. Wow, bruh. <laughs> did not ask. I did not ask. People are only just discovering the pressing details on Lyle's Golden Syrup Tin. Oh, let's see. This is... <laughs> this is just turning into the weirdest thing ever. I don't know, I've got time to kill, so I'm just gonna do this anyway. I'll probably make another video tonight, but... Let's see. Lots of Brits will be familiar with Lyle's Golden Syrup, having launched having launched over 150 years ago in 1881 that's not 150 years by the way that's like well i guess that's close <laughs> to be fair but i don't know that's a wee bit odd 
it's really stood the test of time, but despite being the nation's oldest brand footage, we're only just finding out what the logo and the tin actually depicts. And it's slightly traumatizing. Oof. At a quick glance, it's easy to assume that the yellow lion is lying down or sleeping, but it turns out the king of the jungle isn't going for a nap at all. One Twitter user recently revealed the truth writing. Tell me I'm not the only one who didn't realize the lion on Lyle's golden syrup packaging is depicted dead. Of course someone from Twitter said that, man. Oh, you tell me that's what that's about. Oh, shit. I've had some pretty interesting stories myself, like, in my life, but I'm going to be doing a Ghostbuster um, video next, so I'm probably going to jump on that once I finish this level. So I'm not sure what I've titled this video, but... I'm gonna finish this level and make sure I ace it by the way. Well, at least since I died there. But like, you are gonna see some Prime Rayman content. And trust me when I say I'm like, very good at this. <laughs> I haven't played it in a while to be fair, but I mean, I'm like so good at this game, honest. I ain't even lying. like that one kid at school man that just thinks he's like freaking I know thinks he's like absolutely a boss a god even at games right we got blue circle pink square green triangle blue circle that's easy Boom. By the way, see Rayman, class game. If you haven't played Legends, like, yeah, the price is a wee bit weird, but you can get it in, I think, CX for, like, very cheap. And it holds its money to this day, even if it's, like, 20 quid odd. And I mean holds its money, like, gameplay-wise. It's just so good, you know? Like, getting the hidden... freaking hidden... Uh, little... I forget what you call these guys, I think it's Teensies or something. Like, saving them is just, like, so good. So if you get all of them in the level, then you're, pr you're pretty much, like, smashed it. Honestly, I hate the guys with the massive eyes. Something tell me I gotta get this. I like how there's two of them that are so close to each other. Yeah, I'm gonna call this random news stories for Rayman, why not? Ooh, crap doodle on a stick. Oh, are you joking me, man? I, s I swear, I've there's no way I'd have got that, like, on purpose. And if you want, I can do, like, videos on this, but once I get about 50 subscribers, I'll be able to stream. And I did do a very good SpongeBob uh, Minecraft statue video, which is on my channel. If you haven't um, checked it out, please do. And please subscribe and, well, just comment on the video of this video, what you want to see next for like a Minecraft statue, because I'm currently doing Morty, but that's a pretty simplistic build, to be honest. Come on, kill me. Kill me now. I need that Teensy, bro. I mean, I already have him, but, you know. Oh, bro, why is this happening? Kill me. I swear, if I don't spawn it. Oh, thank you. Another one there. I kinda had a feeling he was there. 
bro. You're, you're absolutely joking, Mamer. I've got them, what, ages ago? I'm not even kidding. I've had them before. Rayman, this is literally the second level. I think there was only one level where I had to like redo it, but I think for this game, all you gotta do is like find where the just look at where secrets usually are in games. It's that simple. And the actual characters are like the best thing in Rayman. And the mechanics are brilliant for each map, especially the Mexican food one. And the music is brilliant in the final levels. Oh man. I've got to perform at a Christmas concert tomorrow on the xylophone. Yes. And I've been roped into also reading, which means I was just planning to like go soon as because it starts at 7 my song's first and I couldn't really care less because I think there's only like one of my mates going there so at least I'll be able to talk to him but basically what's happened is uh, my song was going first Hotel California I'm sure you've heard it and I was meant to get that out of the way and then I'm able to go home and just chill out for the rest of the night. But, turns out I've got to stay till the end and then do some reading on my thing. Like, it's a. I think it's a PAM or something for like Advent. So I go to a Catholic school. And before you criticize Catholic school, it's actually a pretty good. It's actually a pretty good one. I, the people aren't like all amazing in that, like, who I go to school with at least. Trust me, there's like so many twats at my school, but... It's not a bad one, you know. And then next year, will be my last year, so... I'm gonna go to the RAF after it. Oh damn, 742, that's the highest I've ever got. For little level. 600 is meant to be like the main one. But once I finish school, I'm planning to go to the RAF actually. I'll probably go into this in another video just to see if there's any people that can relate. But I'm planning to go to the RAF or um, the army because they also do um, flight training. And I'm going to drive an Apache helicopter. And I'm so close to getting the right grades for it. I just got to get in that five math this year because let's just say my teacher last year was absolutely rotten and half the pupils had to like go um, redo that five. But yeah, I wouldn't have passed it last year anyway, but I don't know, man. I'd like a really... I had two teachers actually, but... One of them just couldn't control the class, which was just embarrassing. I'm, I'm sure if I had those substitute teachers, which looked try and act hard, but this guy was just not even that. He was like my main teacher and just didn't know what he was doing. But yeah, I'm sure he's in like one of the roughest schools ever right now from the last time I heard. And also I had this Australian teacher for RE who'd be like Right class, we are opening jotters now. We are opening our jotters. And like, nobody would do it. I mean, I would did eventually, but he'd always get like, uh, he was talking, we'd just talk over him for like the first 10 minutes mantra, like, no matter if he told us to get our work done. And then he basically left when the forest fires were. And like everyone was making the joke that he was uh, away fighting the forest fires. Which I respect if he was, because I'm pretty sure he was, but like 
It was kind of funny, to be honest. You know. But yeah, I'm gonna record a Ghostbusters video now, so I'll see you later, okay?